This is the blend that we put together. This was quite cloudy, so we've cleaned it with bentonite clay crystals to try and clear it. Hasn't done a bad job, but the, the final sort of racking off now, we're going to do through a filter. And this is a little device, has a filter pad. So it sits in there. It's just running water through the filter, through the filter pad, so that any of the fine parts that might be loose on the filter pad will get washed out into the bottom and down John. Finger over the bottom. Once the wine starts running, just got to leave it come out of the top. Yeah. Leave the air out, leave the wine rise up the tube. Turn the tap to the off position and let it run. Here's the uh, two demi johns of filtered rosé. So the next stage and the final stage is now to bottle through the tap. And a lot of the black Hamburg didn't didn't quite. Um, didn't quite ripen as much as we hoped, but as you can see, it's given uh, that's quite a nice colour, rosy. And there she is, nine bottles of rosy, and and there's always a drop over. Cheers. That's not bad, not bad at all. Happy drinking in two thousand and twenty-one. And now for the corks. Okay, we're ready to put the caps on our uh, rosé. All we do is put them down vertically into a saucepan of boiling water for five seconds. That's the caps on the nine bottles of rosé. We're ready to put the labels on and put them in the cupboard to rest for about nine months. So today's the day when we're going to bottle our reds. These were filtered yesterday with a new filter that, uh, that we bought. It's got them looking nice and clear. So we got our corks ready, my corker, and we've sterilised our bottles. This is the gummy. Put the tube in. The obligatory little taster. So looking clear. This is the pino. Again, beautiful colour. A little bit light really for a pinot, but you can have light pinots. And what we're going to do is fill two bottles. And then I've got a half bottle here which is Gamay, so this this fifth bottle will be a 50-50 Gamay and Pinot mix. Bit of a blend, just to use up. One cork, purchased in France, in the corking machine. Nice and simple. Okay, so moving on to our five litres of black Hamburg. And off we go again. It's quite pale, but it's, it's as red as we're going to get red wines made in this part of the world. As you can see, this is quite a quick process. Nothing too technical. Okay, so there's our 12 reds bottled. So these need to stand now for 24, 48 hours just to allow the corks to swell that little bit in the neck of the bottle. Here's the caps, plastic caps. Quite a simple operation, just put the cap on. There's a saucepan of boiling water. Five seconds in the pan. Lift out, and it's capped. And now for the labels. Just gives it a little bit of a nice touch. Quite simple. So 
we're ready now to fill it there for the last time our white this is already pretty clear because I put it through a pre-filter see that run through there Once this has passed through the filter, it'll be ready for bottling. This was the first one we put uh, to ferment, or one of the first, but it's taken the longest to come to completion. But um, 14th of December today, and ready to bottle and cork. And this white is a mixture of Seville Blanc, Pinot Blanc, and Molotur guys. It does look a really nice colour. We made this last year, but this looks a bit paler than last year's. And of course, with um, all our bottling, we always hope that there's just that little bit too much, because it leaves us with a taster. And that's really nice. When you put the cork in, it's compressing the air that's the alleged they call it that's in the top of the bottle so that's compressed air um, if you lay it down like that the air is in the bottom and it forces the air will force some of the wine up the side of the cork so what's recommended is that um, you actually stand them upright for a couple of days to allow the air to escape and the cork to swell in the neck it's the theory anyway simple process shrink wrap cap into boiling water for five seconds and the final job peeling the labels off and sticking them on each of the nine bottles and there it is it's the first one Chateau Benedict Green Gwyn 2020 to be put away until 2021 and then hopefully we'll be drinking it on a nice warm late summer's day so that's all the wine bottled 30 bottles there nine bottles of white nine bottles of rosé 12 bottles of red and that's our shot of benedict 2020 collection